Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're jumping back into that shabby experience that is Autonauts. So what we're going to be doing today is taking up where we left off with our kilns and our new cooking stations. And as you can see, I made a little addition here. I noticed that with the kilns, you can use... I thought those were sticks in the bottom there. They definitely look like logs now to me when I think about it and actually look at the picture. But I thought they were sticks, so that's why I used sticks at first. So I made this little tree farm here, and the sole purpose is to fill this stuff up here and use the logs as fuel. So... There we go. So with that in play, we made our clay pots and we got our storage full and we've got everything going pretty well over here. So we're going to start setting up our cooking and getting our people ready. I've got the houses down for tier three, right? So with that in mind, let's get it done. So first and foremost, let's just move all the babies because they'll still operate on an upgraded house. How Love Generation works is it's based off of the lowest tier item that they receive. So you can see here, okay, now they require clothes. Level 1 food, level 2 shelter, level 3 clothes, so we need to have tier 3 of everything. If you give them a tier 3 shirt, tier 3 shelter, and two, tier 2 food, they will produce tier 2 Love. Okay? Oops. Oh, I have a baby in my hand already. So, if you want to start putting stuff down ahead of time, feel free. Like, that's why I put the houses down. That's why I'm going to move them over here now. And we're going to get this ready. Which one am I missing? This one? Those are hard to see, but that's okay. We don't need to see these little creepy things. Alright, so both of those are full. I'm just gonna update my feedy bots here, so... Where are you? Tier 2 feedy, stop, record real quick. Oh. Um, here it is. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's pause for one second here. I want to get a sign. I think I have an extra one. No, that's for... I realized earlier I moved this sign when I was making clay in that video, and that's where my blueprints were attached to, so I had to put it back. That's why it's over there. I thought I made another sign in error before, but I guess not. Let's make a sign real quick. And I'm going to put the sign down here so that way when we move our colony around, we don't have to keep changing everyone's parameters because they'll be attached to the sign. All right, beautiful. So we've got them in now. Now we just need to get a bot set up to bring them clothes. So we'll see. One was doing fine with food. So let's see if one will do fine with clothes as well. Um, T3. Clothes delivery. So you are going to come up here. And you're going to take from there until your hands are full. And then you're going to come down here and find your nearest naked baby. There we go. Gotta click the house. Then do this until your hands are empty. And do that forever. So, but first... Think. Make sure we attach this to our sign here. Just like that. Excellent. And then go. So now he'll start putting clothes on our people. If we change our view... Look at that. Nice little happy colonist with his... Poncho. Uh, see, he's a happy boy. So he's giving us um, tier 2 wub, obviously. So we need to get tier 3 food cooking. That's good stuff there. Uh, uh, let me do this real quick. Let's delete these huts. And let's do our area select. Let's grab all of this here. Oh, 
Um, what do we think about this? Nope. I'm okay with that. So same thing, Dr. Phil, record. Change it to this, okay. Go ahead, and then Dr. Oz over here, stop, record. Change this to our sign, and go. All right, cool, so we've got that. Let's get our tier three cooking done. So what I did was I had a guys get with buckets just gathering fresh water here. So let's grab a bot. Um, yeah, just water gathering. Fine. You, come over here. Grab a bucket if your hands are empty. If your hands are empty, grab a bucket. Otherwise, take some fresh water. So crude bucket can only hold one, so that's going to be fine for now. Ooh, it needs two, though. That's rough. I'm going to have two of these going at a time. And then just go back. And do it again. And just do that forever. Okay. I'm going to get one more of those. Water gathering. I'm going to have to think of a better way to optimize that. It'll just be a better bucket, probably, but... Oh, whoops. So do this. If your hands are empty... Take from here. Bring to there. Take from here. Bring to there. All right. So I've got these guys doing this now. The water gather. I'm just gonna put this in our in our chef pile here. So now we need a bot to bring clay pots over, which one should be fine for now, probably. Clay pot gathering. Or transport, I should say. And actually what I want to do too is we need some more robots. Get those guys moving. So I'm going to need a couple more just to finish this. So then you're going to come over here. Oh, hold on. You are going to do this until your hands are full. And then you're going to come down here. Oh, I, I need to get one more. Whoopsies. Get rid of those. Alright. And then I want you to do this until your hands are empty. Okay? And so he's going to move to the clay storage, take it until his hands are full, and then he's going to come over here and add to clay pot one, and then two, he's just going to go back and forth until his hands are empty. Okay. Clay pot transfer complete. He's working hard now. To up here in our chef team. Excellent, we got bots here. So now we've got uh, T2... Food transport. Oh, his battery's dead. Our charge bot probably just hasn't made it down here yet. Oh, there's so here comes some right now. All right, record. You are gonna come here. All right, so. So if, if this one's not empty, take from there. Else, if this one is not empty, take from here. 
Otherwise, you're going to go here. We're going to do that. Do this. Do that. Do this. Boop. Boop. Put failure repeats, exit repeats on here in case of failure. And then you're going to go here. And then here. You're going to need to get an upgrade, but that's fine. Do this until your hands are empty. And just repeat forever. Alright, so I'm just going to bring him here. Come here. Alright, so I just want to know where he is. Oh, give me this head before the bot gets there. Yeah, because I talked about it before. I've got... Ooh, ooh, drop. Give me that. I've got bots pretty much on standby to... Uh, I, I got them making the heads, and then they're going around putting all the new heads on people. Alright. Ah, I did it again. Nope. And how many times am I going to misclick here? Okay. Give me this. Give me this. Put that ahead on. There we go. My bot will come over here and pick that up based on the script we gave him. Alright, so now he's going to add Herbie Pumpkin to this. Man, those are huge. And now I'm going to make you... Now where's my tier 2 feedy? You. So stop, drop, record. Oh, uh, hold on. I need this. Ooh, those things are huge. We might need more of these people. All right, so I want you to come over here. I'm going to do it until his hands are full because I'm pretty sure the next bots... Actually, you know what? Great point. Hold on. Let's just stop for a second. I've got a fully upgraded bot here somewhere. Good bot. You, come here. Do this until hands are full. And then come down here. Hmm. Until hands are empty. And I'll have him exit that in case his hands aren't full, just so he can redo that. So... that there. Go. Now I need you. Uh, T3 food storage. Come over here real quick and what I'm going to do is gonna make so this is the bot head I need to make sure I change this back to bot head so I'm gonna give him a a body real quick so two panels two poles and two fixing pegs okay yeah so we need that make sure we put it back to a head we've got a magic body sitting here let's go install this on our bot oh look how ridiculous he looks oh my god that's hilarious I love every bit of this. Hold on. Let me take a look at you now. It's got six hands. Ah! My god, it is as funny as I wanted it to be. You, come over here. Oops. Do, do, do. Uh, record. This. Until hands are full. You can skip it if your hands are not full at all. Put this until hands are empty and repeat forever. Okay, go. Uh, it is still too much, I think, for him. That's alright, though. Something's happened with our water bots here.
Why did he stop? Oh! I don't know why I have an arrow here. Do this forever. Never stop. Mess that up. That one's that. The crew pot one. Yep, that one's full. That's fine. There we go. Take him a second to catch up, but it'll be fine. You know what? I need to fix this. So, Irby Pumpkin Transport. Repeat. Um... he's finding the nearest Irby pumpkin and picking it up and then he's moving it to the storage. Oh no, that's the wrong guy. I want Irby pumpkin delivery. There we go. Until hands empty. That way, with this, he should move in between both of these now. Yep, there we go. Alright, what's happening with my water transport here? Oh, okay. I probably just missed it producing the food. Alright, we'll see how that goes for a bit. And now we've got Tier 3 Wolf here. So we've done it, guys. We have managed this. Our ponchos are still full, which is perfect. That's what I want to see. I want to know exactly how much I need to be maintaining here. Our clay, how are we doing? It's also full. And... This is not. So, this stuff is so big. I might need some extra... Oof. What are we missing? We're missing the fresh water here still. Is this one just not being delivered? I think it was just that was the dead one. All right. One thing I want to look at real quick here now. Items. Where's a good bucket? Good bucket. Research level 3 research construction technology. That's our next thing we're doing. We're doing crude string maker right now. It's getting close. It's at uh, 9k out of 15,000 so now let's change Dr. Phil here I want you to find the nearest times 10 wove in here until your hands full and add to it until your hands are empty okay go Wow, two at a time. Very nice. Alright. So I'm going to leave my other one just to do... Actually, no, we don't... No, I'm... Oh, I'm kind of low on food, obviously, as we can see going down the line here. Completely low. So let's... Let's figure out our cooking here. I've got... Oh, clay pots are... Backed up here. And this one's just fresh water again. Wait, where's your bucket? You piece of crap. What is wrong with you? Hey. Hey. Oh, that's... If hands are not empty. Stupid. I hit the wrong button. Oops. If hands are empty. So his bucket broke, and that's why. So I know Irby pumpkins are good for transport because they're right here. That's not going to be an issue whatsoever. I think we just need more stations. And obviously water is my biggest crutch right now. Which can just be solved by using more bots. Really is what it comes down to. 
I just gotta think of what the best means is to get the water over here. Like, obviously, we got bots running back and forth here, and... You know, that that is what it is, but... Also, what I want to do is get a bit more... Gravel road down. I want to make sure we can uh, have a good road here. Also, you don't need this wood flooring down. It was just the floors I had at the time, so that's why I put them there. Um, I've got food here. Oh, there's our big, our little bot. It's so cute. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. I think we should just have all bots look like this. Oh, hold on. I think... Here. Yeah, that's our issue. Change this to an area. There you go. Now go ahead. I wonder if you could store a pumpkin soup. No, you can't. Alright, I'm just gonna let it run for a bit here. I want to see just what happens. So let's work on something else and think about our next steps here. This is obviously priority, but I just want to see how well two is gonna work with this system and then I can make it three or four with some easy scripting afterwards. And it's just gonna be the exact same as what we did, so. But also, you can see I have the same tree farm here as I did here for the kilns because these require fuel as well. As you can see. So, actually, I want to see something here. Fueler. Move to log, take from log, find the nearest crude cooking pot until... Oh, whoops. Uh, these have the wrong code on it. Until hands empty. Until hands empty. Okay, go ahead. He has a log in his hand. Why isn't he putting it in there? Hmm. I'm gonna watch this for a second here. Okay, he, he did just go over and do it. I guess it's to get the maximum value. I didn't see the exact fuel level, but it went right back to 150, so it must be to not waste a log, essentially. So, I kind of wish there was a way to just do it, but it probably doesn't let you add a log unless it's at a certain threshold. So, it is so it is working just fine. So, there was no downtime, so that's nice. So, we'll check that out in a bit. Oh, yeah, we've got all these empty clay pots here, too, now that build up. Let's get a... Because I forgot, the, they get, like, a little durability use out of them, I guess. You can see here how they have, like, some durability. So, I need a guy to pick these up and... I think I'm just going to have him bring them right back in here, actually. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We'll add it to our clay pot transfer guy, so stop. Then he's going to do this until his hands are empty. And then... And then he's going to go find the nearest clay pots in here. And do this until his hand is full. Kinda. Yeah, and then... Do it forever? Does this work the way I want it to? So, and then do this until your hands are full. And then move down, so... Obviously, so my thought here is... He's gonna get... He's gonna start by getting clay pots from the storage up top, right? And then he's going to go put them in until his hands are empty. And then he's going to check this area here. Which, oh, i got to stop him real quick. I want to change this to, to my sign. There we go. And then he's going to check the area to find a clay pot. And then he's going to pick them up until his hands are full. And then he's going to repeat it forever. Do I have it right? 
Yeah, because so if he does this, he'll add them to there. And then maybe I should just put it at the No, because it'll work. I don't even need the repeat until forever because if I just have until hands are full, he'll pick them up until his hands are full. Now he's getting stuck in a loop. So if I just... I get rid of that. And actually, you know what? Record. I'm going to take this out and put it in here. And now it'll skip past that because he, his hands will be full here. But if it's not full because there's not enough clay pots, um, then so be it. You know? Now the question is, are those going to disappear over time? Should I like have someone stacking them all. Ooh, that's a... I think I'm gonna have a, a dishwasher here. Just to be safe, because usually things that pop out automatically will disappear over time. I would like clay pots to not disappear. Alright, everyone's fed well. The house is going to be breaking down soon. I believe it's based off of the last house. So, what I'm also going to do here now... Is, we're going to build a little... Just a very small storage here. Right here. What is that? 25, right? That'll be plenty. And I'm gonna put down... I've got this new mechanical frame saw that I want to test out. I'm gonna put this just right here. It requires a floor. Put that there. And what I want to do is have... You. Um... House planks. I don't know why I did that. Delete it. You are going to grab a log. You're not going to do that part. There we go. And you are going to do that until... That's full. I want you to do this part until your hands are full, just in case you can have, um... Extra stuff later on in your life when we upgrade you. Alright. And then... House plank storage. You are gonna come over here. Pick up planks until your hands are full. Then you're gonna bring them over here. Add planks until hands are empty. Oops, stop. Record. Forever. Yep, four planks. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put a pause on him, too. And then I want you to wait, like... Five seconds. Okay, so that's good. I need my habitat boys here, so... Question is, where are they? They are... I need to, like, reorganize some of my teams here. I've got my chefs, I've got my BPs, charging, clothiers, crafters, feedies. Oh, they're my feedies. They're feeding the homes. Okay, you... Delete this. I want you to come over here. Uh, repeat until hands are full. That doesn't matter if he gets extras, and then... Look for a log cabin in here. Until your hands are empty. Then do it forever. I 
feel like I might not need... Wait, what? How come he's not finding the nearest log cabin? He has a log in his hand still. I thought I heard him pick it up, but that was the storage bot putting him away. Alright, yeah, he can fix one house at a time, so I'm gonna leave him alone. I think one will be fine for that, so we'll let that just kind of organically deal with itself. As we can see here, I still have no built-up storage, so they're being fed, but they're almost maxed out on their food now, so that's good. So we'll keep an eye on that, because it could just start to build up. You gotta remember, your tiers of food, I'm not sure exactly what the quantities are, but they give them like a certain amount of fill rate when you look at this. So like looking at the bar, you can see this bar is maybe, let's call it 90%. Each food gives it a certain amount, and then it won't feed it again until it's hungry. So, you know, it, it can just start to stock up a bit. Okay, so we've got tier three now. We've got our flank storage here. This is doing decently enough. I like this. This is being fed well. This is doing fine. All of my clay pots are looking perfect still, and my ponchos are all maxed out, so... Jesus Christ, look at this. A bit much out here, huh? How did I get more hay? Oh, this is empty. Or it's not full. And it was probably nighttime, so. So yeah, he's out here doing this. I wish it could be like, if there's not a full hail of bay out here, like, then don't put anything down. I don't know. I'll think about that a bit, but as it stands, I have a surplus, and I'm not losing anything by doing it, so it doesn't matter. It's just a little bit of a waste, but not really all at the same time. All right. I think we're good here. We're going to see how this works. We're almost done our love collection here. Love collection. Oh, got some death robots that were upgraded. Got to fix them later. We got this going, so let's take a peek here. So obviously... Tier 4 is the next beast, right? I think I have the houses unlocked. Where are they? Right? Nope, I don't have the houses unlocked. So we'll we'll be getting that and checking that out. And then we got to look at tier 4 food now, right? So let's do that, actually. So to get our tier 4 food... So we got tier 3. So tier 4 is pumpkin stew for us. I'm going to need a cauldron, which would be level 3 cooking technology. Or, sorry, no. Level... Is it level 3? I guess so. Yep, yeah, right here. Cauldron. What is that? A better flail? Good flail. Okay. Obviously, we'll need the basic toys. We're gonna need shelter technology. Basic vehicles? What? What is this? Wheelbarrows? I heard these are pretty funky. Mobile liquid storage? That could come in handy. We might play with that a bit for our cooking. Vehicle assembly. Okay. 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 I see you. Um, okay, yeah. So we're going to need about $80,000 worth of research here coming up. Or love of research, I guess we should say. We'll take a look at that. So let's see what we actually need for a product here. So, like we said. So we're going to need pumpkin stew. So I need to start a crude dough process because I'm going to need... A pumpkin stew, or pumpkin soup, and two crude dough to make stew. Crude dough is a kitchen table, which I think I have. Two watery porridge and two crude flour. So I need to set up a station to make watery porridge and store those, which will be pretty easy. And I need to set up a station to create crude flour, which again will be pretty easy because we actually already have all the stuff. We've got the kern. We just need to take cereal seed and turn it into crude flour. Watery porridge is same thing. I just need to get a... I have crude mixing pot, so I'm just going to be taking that. Plus some cereal seed, plus some fresh water, a clay pot, and making watery porridge. So again, not a hard thing at all, which is going to be a couple extra steps here. Clothing, right? Let's see. We got ponchos. So we're going to be moving to jumpers. Is that tier four? Yep. Jumpers. So I'll need another wool blanket 
which I'm not storing, so I'm going to actually have to create a process. I'll have a separate process for creating wool blankets. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Wool blankets and obviously string, which is the technology we are learning as we speak. So we'll have this very soon, which is just a crude string maker. Some weeds, which we have plenty of, and then string. You know, as we, uh, you know, come over here, here's our weed stack. I think we're okay. I think we're doing fine with that. So, I do want to, man, I feel like I'm, it's working. It's, they're all happy, so it's not like anything's bad right now, but I need to have a store, a surplus of it so that I can be delivering it. Just the delivery boy. It's the transport. Oh, what's this? Oh, crude string maker. All right. So hand net to catch bait and leeches, fishing rod, string, and the string maker. All right. Let's get our next research set up here. So we are going to do... Hold on. Is there anything that'll be beneficial to me in the in the short run doing this? If I do stone cottage, get windows, doors, fireplaces. That's interesting. Um, this will just be the food itself, and this is the toys. So no, there isn't anything that'll really do me any good here. Where was the... Where was the thing it was talking about to get a better bucket? Remember that? When we looked at the bucket? Good bucket. Oh, right here. Level 3 research construction technology. Oh, this one. Oh, right here. Construction. I was looking at brickworks when I was looking at this, so... And with this, I'll get a mortar mixer. I'll get a better bucket. Ugh. I feel like it could help, but I can just use bots, so... Let's get... Man, I, I'm having a hard time here. I don't know why. Why am I? Why is this such a hard decision for me to make right now? You know, let's do the brickworks. Let's get the brickworks. So I need sand. So let me go grab some sand real quick. I'm just gonna need a bucket and some sand from up here. I don't need those. All right, I threw the sand in there and got a little distracted when I realized my panel crafter wasn't working anymore. And it was because of his coating that was in there. I basically had it set until storage was full, but what was happening... Oh, now what's your problem? What? Move here until your hands are not empty. Oh. Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. I gotta think this one over because... Oh. What's happening is like when the, when the storage does get full, he goes and picks up square frames and then, he's ha then his hands are full. Maybe I just do this. Put it right in the middle, right? So... Right there. So he's gonna go, he's gonna get planks, and then he's going to move them and add them, and then he's gonna go get square frames, and then he's gonna move them and add them. Okay, that should actually work, so... Jesus. 
All right. So yeah, we've got tier three all set. My food is slowly going up. So two is enough to feed six people with the setup I have and gain a slight surplus, but that's not going to be enough for tier four. So I'm going to have to increase that a bit. And as we can see here, now that it's caught up, my storage is going back up for Irby Pumpkin as well. So I'm not dwindling in that, which is good to see. So I'm just going to slap another little box on top here, just in case, because I would like to get it to 100. And then I'm going to have to create another storage and increase the capacity, because I'd like to have at least two of those, if not three, just for security's sake, you know? But all right, guys. We got a lot done today, and in the next one, we're going to start getting that cereal farm put to work and get our crude dough process ready to get ready for Tier 4. And that's probably... We're probably just going to kind of hang out over here with that, I'm thinking. It's a decent little area. Um, yeah, we'll probably just go over there. I think that might work, and then the food will just get transported down, so... All right, guys, as usual, if you're loving the content, make sure you hit that like button down below, and don't forget to leave a comment as well. And as usual, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and get that sweet daily content at 9.15 Eastern every single day. All right, guys, I'm going to be signing out here. It is 3 a.m. this morning as this goes live because uh, my previous file got corrupt. Don't know why, so I re-recorded re it for you guys real quick. But all right, guys, I'm going to bed. As usual, this has been Shabby Doo, and I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.